Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer with part two, A&P Stories from the Vault of Western Union. So I wanted to tell you this about Western Union. If you've ever had to deal with a Western Union transaction that did not go right, you are like up a creek because there is nobody there that wants to help you. They keep you on hold forever. Western Union literally wanted to do nothing. They wanted the agents in the store to do everything and there was really not anybody there to help you when you needed help. So I came in one Saturday night and somebody had made a mistake and when you wire money to a prison, it's a different thing than when you wire it to like anybody like in the free world that was going to go into the drugstore and pick it up or the grocery store and pick it up. So like the city was different. The, um, you, you were sending it to the prison. You weren't sending it to John Smith and, and it was just totally different. So whoever did the Western Union, I think, I don't remember. I, I think it was the manager did it because the front end manager at the time didn't know how to do it and he wound up sending it to the state and because he sent it to the state, the person at the prison couldn't pick it up because they weren't going to like Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Like they were picking it up at the penitentiary or whatever it was, the institution they were in. So I was literally on the phone with Western Union like for like three hours. Because the way a refund works is Western Union has to send it back to you. You have to receive the money back and resend it. But every time I got an agent on the phone, which was not easy to get an agent on the phone, they would keep me on the phone forever and then they would disconnect. It would just disconnect and I would have to call back. It was ridiculous. I was on the phone with them for like three or four hours that night trying to correct this problem. And you know, you feel bad for the, the person because they're standing there with you and like this is like, they're sending $100 to somebody. It's not like they're sending 10,000 and you're, you, you know, you can't help them. And Western Union is, is a, of no assistance. They want nothing to do with you. They, they, they don't care. There were other situations where if you send money to a company, like say for example, you're paying your car loan and you're, it was like Ford Motor Credit, they would have a code city and the code city is a made up city that only you and the company knows. So you wouldn't be sending the, the money to um, Nashville, Tennessee. You would be sending it to like Fordville, Tennessee or something like that. It would be a code city, it would be made up and a lot of times, the person didn't have that information and it was just a real hassle to try to get the information. And they had changed over the system from the telephone system to computer and the, getting the computer to log on. And we're talking like not that long ago, like this was like four or five years ago. a and only been gone three years. So it's just been like a, was like a real process to get it to work. I mean, Western Union was nothing but a hassle, and a lot of times, if we were having too much trouble, we would just say that it was down and send them somewhere else because it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the fight with Western Union if you couldn't get it to go through, if you sent it to the wrong place. Like, it was just not worth it. A&P did not make much money. I think we made, like, maybe, like, it was a percentage of the fee. So if you were sending money to Ford Motor Credit and the fee was ten fifty, I think we got a percentage of the ten fifty. Like it really, it wasn't worth it. But anyway, it was like a customer service thing. Uh, that I mean, it was just so much more hassle than it was worth. But anyhow, so that's my that's my tale about Western Union. If anyone ever calls you and asks them to send you money, Western Union, make sure they FaceTime you. Make sure that you know who they are because if you send that money, I promise you, you will not get it back. And even if you get it back, you won't get back the fee. And if you're sending hundreds of dollars to another state, the fee is pretty hefty. All right, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, share us with your friends, and we will see you soon. Bye.